for all the people who judge without knowing just throw the peace i tell them good vibes only yeah they were hating but we didn't even know it's good hey guys welcome to wake up world enlightenment now my name is eric tavares and i am duchess carol and today's podcast is focusing on healing with food high vibrational frequencies and alkaline eating and healthy eating and stuff like that I feel like I should have walked in and said, hello. (laughs) Welcome, Julia Child. Yeah, they are welcome. You're welcome. Um, Real quickly, I just want to ask you because whenever I woke up to spirituality or uh, the awakening process and stuff, I didn't know any about any of this. I never had heard of frequencies of food. I've never heard of frequencies of other people. I've never heard of frequencies of me, low vibe. No one. No. No one's ever taught me any of this and so for the last year this has been a a new process of learning how to eat healthy and you know they tell you as a kid like eat your fruits and veggies but they don't tell you why yeah and now it kind of all starting to make sense so like, mm-hmm. did you know about this all I along? did not know and I didn't even know well after I was a uh, you know awakened and enlightened <laughs> um yeah I didn't know that didn't even think about it but it all makes sense I mean what you put in your body is you know your right. body is what do they say, 70, over 70% water? So like anything you put in your body is a frequency and like the, even down to the water you drink should Close be a, frequency, yeah. a good water, a fluoride free water. <laughs> well, so we'll discuss that too because yes. I, didn't, I did not know that either. Yeah. And it's just a lot that um, you go through. Like I did not know. Yeah. And I grew up on tap water. Yeah. I can only imagine how far my third eye had been closed up until this point. And now I'm just like, I'm learning that there's certain things that you can do to detox metals from your body. There are certain Mm -hmm. things that you can do to detox metals from your uh, pineal gland, which is your third eye in your mind, um, which most people have no idea what that even is. I didn't know what that was a year and a half ago, so I'm just like, what is, what? And then now here I am, who used to be a hardcore meat eater, alcohol, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, here trying to be follow my path and get mm-hmm. on to where I need to go and do the things that I need to do, but not only heal myself from inside out, um, many of you know or don't know, but I was diagnosed with HIV five years ago, and I am now currently on the process of trying to um, put my health back as a uh, number one priority and to know that I can cure myself from within and I don't have to take these $3,000 bottles of medicine to stay alive or a pill every day because I don't believe in that anymore. And I've learned to like let that go and to take my health a little bit more serious. And so, and I'm a human, so of course we're going to have our ups and downs and mistakes, but I now have noticed in the last year and a half, like I do pump more fruits and vegetables and organic material into my body than what I used to in my past. And yeah. I absolutely, yeah. I love it and I understand And there it. are things to do, even if you can't afford organic, um, like I grew up in, you know, being Christian, we bless our food, but it's just as important, even if you're not, to send blessings to your food. Thank the universe for what you're eating. You know, so fruit the, the if fruit. you must have ice cream, bless that ice cream. Yes. <laughs> Say thank you, because you know, a cow had to give its milk if that's the type. I mean, there's, there's also milk-free ice creams out there too. So. And what I was telling her earlier, what I've also learned is like, say that, you know, everyone that can afford organic food, I mean, like organic food is super expensive and you yeah. see, you see like what the system is doing or what the matrix is doing and you're like, this is messed up. But I've also learned that if you just go get regular fruits and vegetables like this, you can put them in um, bottled water with a scoop of baking soda. Make sure it's the food grade uh, baking soda. You leave it soaking for 12 minutes and it alkalizes the uh, fruits and the veggies, but it also like raises the vibration and it cleanses any... Uh, metals or what is it pesticides yes. from it and it takes it all out so you're able to get the full benefit of the actual food instead of ingesting all that horrible stuff that they're putting on it to keep your vibration low to begin with yeah so um with low vibrational foods we can start listing those that you know it's it, for me it's because i grew up in oklahoma and it's like you know deep fried anything right they kept me, yeah. Whenever you eat something that's deep fried, you're kind of like, ugh, I just want to sleep after. There's a reason for it. I mean, that's just a low vibration. If anything makes you sleepy after you eat, uh, I'm pretty much learning that's a low vibration. So, yeah. And a lot of that has to do with eating meat, and it's just super... It's hard on your body to process, you know. There's a reason why we don't have very sharp teeth. Some right. animals do. We have just a couple sharp ones, you know, but... It's not just, a mouthful of them. No, not at all. <laughs> 
Um, stuff that I know that's low vibrational, like meat, um, red meat for sure. Like I'm, I'm doing my best to staying away from red meat. If I have red meat, it is very, very rare. And I know to always take um, diatomaceous earth the next day or anti-parasitic cleanse because I do know that a lot of meat hosts parasites. And yeah. parasites do multiply in your body and cause more disease or fat or whatever it is that you're going through. So I've even gotten my roommate on to on board now where she's like, like even this morning, I'm like, hey, here's a diatomaceous shake because we had burgers yesterday. I ain't had a burger in so long. Yeah. But at the same time, I tell my body, like even whenever I pray over my food now, which I didn't used to do for the first 35 years of my life, now I sit there and I bless it to an extent. And then I say, may my body only keep what is nutritional to make it healthier, stronger, and thrive. May it discard the rest. And I'm going to the restroom within an hour. like, And people are like, I don't go to the restroom as much as you. I'm like, I'm learning how to like process yes. this in and out, get it in, get it out, yeah. get it fed. Let me go on, keep my vibration high. Um, I just think it's an amazing experience. And oh, I'm yeah, always absolutely. researching food. So like I'm always, especially with me trying to heal myself from the inside out, I have to sit here and research like, what does a strawberry do? What, what does a blueberry do for me? What is this? And I'm always researching because I'm trying to not only heal myself internally, but on a microcellular level to where my blood will change back to how it used to be. And it's just something about my doctors will say, like, how are you doing this? And I'm like, healthy eating, like, yeah. I've changed my diet plan, so. Yeah, and gratitude, like, being just grateful for everything you're eating, and, like, it just, it does raise the vibration, even if you're not able to eat the best of things, or if you're around a family function, especially, like, this week with Thanksgiving, you know, some people feel obligated to eat around their families, or their family will not you're have right. anything to do with them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is the South, so <laughs> yeah, it, that's the way it can be. So yeah, just being grateful and super grateful. Yeah, I'm an Indian, you're an Indian. Most people come from an, yeah, an Indian and just like I'm, I'm a Cherokee. Yeah. yeah, and so I sit here, and the more that I research about vibrations and eating meat and not eating meat, I sit there and I research like. What do Native American cultures do when it comes to eating meat and how they bless it and how they they, they care for the animal? They're truly not, thankful for yeah. the earth giving them this food. And it's just not a slaughterhouse yeah. where everything yeah. you just I'm like, so I'll, even though sometimes if I eat meat, I know that it might have come from something like that. I still bless it and I yes. thank it. Like, I'm sorry if you were treated bad or not, but I appreciate the fact that. Yeah. I'm able to put you in my body, and so it's just something. And you'll, you'll notice in time that, like, when you do that, if you do forget to bless your food, you can actually also put your hands, or for me, I put my hands on my stomach because that's where the food is, and you can actually still bless it. Even I did that once to, yesterday. I was like yeah, that. you can still on the couch, bless it. And I was like, Because if not, you. You will feel, you'll <laughs> feel different, especially when you get more sensitive to vibrations. You'll feel different if you don't bless your food. It'll just feel like... Ugh, just heavier and not not as high vibrational but if you're grateful you know then it does change things why why do you think okay so some of you here in the group already know why you want to have a high vibration but there are those people out there that have no idea what we're talking about because a year and a half ago i had no idea what these people were talking about so why do you why do you need a high vibration because, I mean, it keeps you healthier. I mean, it keeps, you know, for me, like being high vibrational is just keeping my, my attitude up, being grateful. And it actually helps you to ascend uh, quicker and awaken quicker. Yes. And like, it just makes life so much better. And the deal is, is when you're focusing on these good things and staying in a high vibration, then all the low, low vibrational things such as negative people, you don't notice the people that cut you off. You're, you know, in no. the car, you're just like, well, maybe they're having a bad day, bless them. And it doesn't affect you like it did before where it brought this anger into you. You know, like it seems like that's the go-to, especially like here in Dallas. You know? yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody's nice outside their cars. God bless them. <laughs> in the car. In the car could be yeah. a different story. Yeah, so that's one thing I had to learn moving here to Dallas was like, you know, I just had to be like, well, okay, they probably are having a bad day, and so I'm just, you know, just bless them. And I noticed that the higher I kept my vibration, the less that it bothered me when someone else came, what I felt like came at me. But what it is is I allowed it to affect me. Right. Because it's all how I react to... And your Whatever, frequency like responds to frequencies that all around you, no matter yeah. what. Someone yeah. can walk into a room and their vibes throw it off the room or throw on the room. And, and it's weird because now I've realized that keeping a high vibration not only keeps me connected to like what they would call Christ consciousness or to source or to oneness, 
but I'm able to be in the actual flow of life and I understand and I get the synchronicities and like I knew that I was coming over here today and we knew that we were going to be do this and on the way over here I get 444 and 911 back to back and I'm like I know what I'm going to go do I understand that I'm going to be educating people and spreading love and light through a freaking video but yeah, I think it's an yeah. amazing thing but at the oh, same yeah. time we also went shopping we got some stuff for us to put into our bodies to you know just to raise the vibration even higher and to keep us more connected and yeah. I wouldn't change and it. it and it caused us to have this um, communication about food like nobody really talks about food no and one tells all like, of a sudden they're talking back and forth like yeah look at that you know this one has antioxidants and like this one you know, it's a superfood, and like it's things that you don't really normally think of. And you, and you were no one's ever ever interested in it until like I guess when you have your awakening. Like, yeah. There's yeah. people that because I work for a gym, and there's people that go that are healthy and they super healthy and they look amazing. But then at the same time, when I ask them about vibrations and stuff, they're like, "What is he talking about?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm like <laughs> wow, I'm like it's great. I'm like yeah. you're already on the right path, but you'll understand more once you get to that awakening yeah. moment because." I didn't understand, and then at the same time, you're still you still may have problems eating meat or whatever, because I still do from time to time. But I've learned that I can't go vegan in one day. Oh, like, yeah. It's just a really hard. I do want to get there eventually. My goal is to become an all alkaline vegan to completely reverse disease in my body. But at the same time, I know that no matter what, I can't leave this realm, and I'm not going to die from a disease that's non. It's not even real and yeah. because it's all a figment of the mind and what you believe and what you put your faith behind. And so I'm learning all this for myself and I just want to be able to share that with other people because there's a lot of friends that I have back in the past that are not on medications or they keep asking for medications or they don't know how to get on medication or they freak out because they find out that they have a disease and then all of a sudden your world falls apart. Yeah. And five years ago my world fell apart and then got on medication and it made another part of my organ or another organ in my body start to fail and then it made another part and then you know I keep going down this route of medication different medication medication you now have my awakening and it's like I need to back off on the medication and I just need to start yes. eating right yep. and everyone's like you're gonna die I'm like I can't die um, I understand that I'm only going to evolve but it, you know they yeah. don't understand life and death yet yeah. so I'm like it's just a it's a completely new because people believe what they see what's right in front of them if they don't see it beyond that and as you awaken a you lot of times <laughs> you start seeing a lot more things and that talking aren't to other there. things and <laughs> yeah. noticing other things <laughs> yeah. and, and stuff starts moving <laughs> and you think you're in a poltergeist movie and yeah. it's for real it's yeah. not a joke like um, yeah. it's all energy it's super and it's an amazing experience yeah. in the same time so what other stuff do you know as low vibration? Low vibration, um, alcohol can be. But not vodka. Vodka's made from potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that is my, that is my belief. I think everything, I think really everything done in modesty, um, just bless it. Like, you know, everybody's going to have a great night of partying every now and then. Right. I mean, you're, we're human. No matter what we came as, if we're star seeds, angels, doesn't matter. It, we're human. We're gonna want to have fun. So it's just when it becomes an every night thing. Yeah. You know, where you or can't you're make drinking, it through the day without it. That's or the you're drinking to hide your emotions, or you're drinking because yes. you're running away from it's your the problems. It's the why of it. Yeah. Exactly. If you're drinking to have fun, then you know. And I'm learning that you can program. You can program your drinks now, and I'm learning you can program. Yes. You can program it all. Like, mm -hmm. like it's an amazing. Yeah. You can put your hands on your drink, and in fact, um, I practiced this many times, but like I would take water because that's pretty much all I drink, mostly. I mean, I do still have other things. Um, not yet. We'll get in a minute. <laughs> I'm just drinking some potatoes. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I'm doing. you can take your hands, and if you don't even touch the cup, and you fill up your water cup, and you put your hands, well, you can like rub them together first, and then put your yeah, hands like on the there. Kid, honey. Watch the water. As you think, I love you, I love you, I love you, you will see the water move and you're not even touching it. And that just amazed me. I was like, wow, energy is real. And if people see it and they can see how vibrations do go from oh, your wow. body into something, then yeah, it's, it's really beautiful when you can actually see it happen. So that's always a fun thing to try is with your drinks to put some vibrations in there. I'm excited. But, yeah. Anything like anything low vibration is going to be, of course, genetically modified. Those yes. are not good. I mean, it's a science experiment on you, is what it is. Pretty much. Yeah. Or genetically engineered, or yes. it's just not. I'm a, like today with the bananas. Like 
I just can't get yeah, past it, yeah. but it's crazy. And, and I had actually looked at seeds um, for to plant in the yard, and I noticed that now they have these clear pouches of seeds, and the seeds will be beautifully colored red. Well, it's because they're genetically modified. They have the coating on there of the plant right. killer and things like that, whereas the organic ones just have the little plain package of you know, and they're usually off in a separate area. It's like they make it, try to make it look pretty. So you have to be careful with even the seed you're planting if you have a garden. That's what I've noticed is I used to walk through the grocery store and just be like, yeah, knew my go-tos and this is what I eat. And now here yeah. I am literally like, yeah, what does it say? So I've gotten to the where point where I'll from? sit down in the middle <laughs> of an aisle. People are walking by me like I'm crazy. And I'm like sitting there reading three different bags of like rice. And they're yeah. like, I'm like, y'all not, I don't even have time to explain it to these people. <laughs> they can look at me like I'm crazy, but I'm over here researching, like, does this have yeah. FDC yellow or yeah. hashtag red or whatever? I'm like, I don't have time for that right now. Like, I'm not trying to put that in my body. Yeah. But at the same time, I do take stuff to to pull those toxins from my body. So, like, if y'all don't know about diatomaceous earth, that's something you should definitely look into. You can get it in a pill or a capsule form. You can also get it in powder form, food grade. It's really good for removing toxins and also parasites from your body. Um, iodine, I take my iodine supplement twice a day, so that's really good for pulling toxins as well. So I'm always trying to just keep my vibration as high as possible and speak positivity into the world at the yes, same time. Yes. Even though when you want to just tell people what you really think. Yes, exactly. You're like, ah, oh, it's not what you, you really think, to, it's, it's what your what ego think. thinks, what your ego says. Yeah. You should really tell them this. And I'm just like, yeah. There's a reason that it's like, take the high road. You know, Always. you're basically taking the higher vibration road is what you're doing. So yeah, it's rising above what a normal reaction would be, which would be that, that ego of, ah, I want to get back at you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so low, low vibration foods. There's like, you know, sugar is... It weighs your body down, like, just energetically. I mean, it really does a number. If you eat a lot of sugar, I know, because I love sugar. It just sugar. has a lot of detrimental, <laughs> it causes a lot of problems yeah. that are detrimental yeah. to your health. And yeah. when you look at how food is, what's the word, commercialized yes. and put out there, it's all about sugar. And I'm yeah. just like, wow. Yeah. Like, and then I watched this video on this man researching cereal and how cereal has the same thing as paint thinner. And I'm like, what is going on? Yes, exactly. <laughs> and when they take out sugar to make it lower sugar, they add fat. And so, you know, they're going to add some sort of a flavor, which sugar and fat adds flavor. So they take out sugar and add fat. And, you know, fat is just as heavy of a vibrational downer than, you know, as sugar. And it can wreck your body also. So it's just like being conscious about everything you put in your body is good and I it's mean, also about being conscious about your emotions because yes. i read something that talked about you eat based off your emotions there's everyone does emotional eating but if you're yes. consciously eating you're not eating your emotions you're consciously eating health yes and you know that you're consciously eating life but when you've had a bad day and so and so went off on you and you take this energy home and then you all have to do this and you just end up eating all this low vibrational stuff that yeah. eventually causes you to get sick causes you to look overweight causes you to manifest disease in your body you become lethargic and you don't want to do anything with yourself or your life or any at that point like i've gone through this and i yeah. understand and you I'm want to like, eat to live not live to eat and i went many years living to eat like in the mid i mean i'd be laying down for to go to bed at night and i'd be like man i really want some ice cream <laughs> 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 and so, you know, it's just, yeah, conscious eating, it makes a huge difference. And like you were saying earlier with like the alcohol, back in my day, I was drinking and partying to run away from my problems and run away from the fact that I was diagnosed and couldn't find my way out. And then you get your awakening, you find your way out. And I've, I've reduced my alcohol intake by like 98% yeah. from what it used to be. Everyone's like, you used to be out six days a week. I'm like, yeah. I know I go out like maybe once every two weeks now. Like, Yeah, and it's, and it's a huge reason. Like, are you doing it to have fun or are you doing it to mask I'm doing it emotions? Just to go, just and that's, to... it's the why of why you put these things in your body. So right. if you find the root of that, a lot of times people are healed of, like for me, I mean, I emotionally overeat. Well, I'm I've... a lightweight now, so. <laughs> 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 it turned that out very fast. Like, you don't drink like you used to. Like, and I definitely can't handle it like I used to either. So I'm learning my lessons, like, to a point where I'm like, drink in moderation and, you know, bless your stuff and yeah. program it and, you know, cut it off after two. And like, yeah, yeah, I really don't need more than that. And if you're going after more than two drinks, you probably should just 
look as to why you're drinking one yeah. or two or yeah. three. Or yeah, for um, for me, um, you know, I was looking through. We we obviously have lists with us and stuff like that to help us. And also, we just want to say that this is from um, this is from the website Mind Body Green is where we got a lot of our information because they've used the the same article in many many places, um, and they give you know lots of different ideas for high and low vibrational foods, um, and you know with low vibrational foods, um, it just any, what I was always taught was like if it had a mom or a daddy, a mommy and a daddy, because a lot of times you need both. Sometimes you don't. There are animals. Yes, there um, are anyway. animals that are like me. <laughs> but if they have a mom and daddy, then that's going to be a lower vibrational food because they had their own, you know, vibration walking around where a plant grows and a plant, even though it's alive, it's it's stationary. It's, you know, um, it's just a higher vibration. It doesn't have the emotions of hunting for food the food you know the food that water and plants sunlight, get, yeah. yeah just water and sunlight and so like animals will have a a lower vibration just because of the way they have to live and especially if they are mass produced and then you know killed and put in packages <laughs> that's going to make yeah. them a lower vibrational food so um that's crazy because when you become yeah. more conscious of the way you eat like how we were talking at the grocery store and you just when we went down that fish aisle and I saw everything in the squids, I was just like, ugh, yeah. gross. This is disgusting. But at the same time, I'm like, I could see like, oh my God, you love, when you don't see it as what it is and you just yeah. see calamari rings, you're like, yes. But then when you see, I saw frozen squid today. Yeah. Like the whole thing. It, and I was just cut. like, well, the little thing from Nemo, it, <laughs> it squirted. Yeah. And that's my little, I'm like, no, it wasn't. Oh, it just made yeah. me like, oh, it, it turned my stomach and I felt it like, mm, that's why you don't need to be eating now. Like you just, your body knows that it's a no-no. Yeah. And then at the same time, you're just like, you're not programmed to look at it that way. And yeah. You're programmed to see it in a package or on a plate at a restaurant and you don't really think about the beginning product of how it was. You don't think of the fear or the pain or the suffering that the animal went through either. And so whenever they're slaughtered and they're murdered, massively and they're just being shot killed whatever I don't know I, I've watched a couple but I, I was like I couldn't but mm -hmm. you see the fear you end up eating that fear and that pain and then that yes turns into disease yes I'm just learning just That's, like with the nutrition in the plants and you know of course being sending your gratitude or prayers or blessings to your food um, you take in the nutrition if there was fear you're gonna take in that fear and it's gonna come through Maybe not as fear, but it'll come at, come through as a lower vibration, and you'll just feel heavy, tired, you know, and like just a lower vibration. And I've noticed so. that with other people because I'll I'll see that like even if I do eat meat, uh, I do do the blessing and I release any negative energy from yes, it. But I, I also do too. release any negative entities that have been attached to that meat. So I know that I'm not ingesting it. Then I also tell my body to make sure not to take any of that on and to discard it ASAP. Yes. And I can eat something like you could be the other person in the break room with me eating the same food. And I see an hour later, and I'm still up going, bouncing off the walls, and I see and them just like, like oh, and I'm like, I'm, they, need, I'm so they haven't caught on yet. Yeah. Like, you need to learn how to, to do yes. this correctly. Yes. That's and crazy. a lot of it, you know, you can do with your mind, with your intentions. Will It'll make you not have that 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock low <laughs> during the day. Oh, well, <laughs> so. I'm, like, I'm, I'm always good. <laughs> Majority <laughs> of the time. Unless I had a night out the night before. <laughs> okay, so talk about some high vibrational foods. Okay, so what I love, and she took me to this new place called what? Super H Mart here yeah. in Dallas. There's Shout out to them. them. Yes. Um, they had an entire seafood aisle. I mean, seaweed. 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 It aisle. is a f seafood. I mean, the fish eat it. It's yeah. I'm addicted. I'm addicted type, to seaweed. I love seaweed. <laughs> it's one of the most high vibrational foods you can eat. Um, kale is another high vibration, uh, high vibrational food. Dark leafy greens, spinach. Uh, what is it? Uh, what are they called? can't think of what I'm trying to think. Watercress. Watercress is also cucumbers, alkaline, but all your uh, leafy greens and fruits and vegetables, blackberries, um, blueberries, cranberries, or raspberries. Is raspberries what? High vibrational. High vibrational. I mean, it's a fruit. Yeah, it's fruit. Um, obviously, you want to get an organic if you can because you know that there's not been pesticides because there's... And she just learned something today, and I don't know if y'all know or not, but all your fruit are marked with numbers. And I worked in a grocery store for a long time, so I knew this. So if your number starts with a three, it's a gen genetically engineered or genetically modified fruit or vegetable. If it starts with a four, it's pesticides. And so, and if it starts with a nine, it's organic. 
But even at that, even when you're buying it at a nine, you still need to come home and alkalize it and, and cleanse it the way from the inside out and pull everything from it regardless because now that we see the way that the system and the matrix works, you need to always be questioning yes. every single thing. Yes, I know from like the livestock industry, if you cannot find a grain that is organic, like they, like you cannot get a hold of it, you can give them a certain percentage of regular grain that's not organic. So if like, you know, if a cow is being sold, you know, as a healthier product because it ate only organic grain, they don't actually only have to, or, or chicken eggs, you know, the chicken doesn't have to have only organic grain. I've been researching a, all that stuff about like There's a leeway in there. Grass fed protein. I'm like, well, yes. what kind of grass was, what yes. kind of pesticides were on the grass? Like I'm always questioning and, that. And you know? they can say that it is organic and they can legally say that. That's but crazy. they can also give them regular grain, regular pesticide grain, if they weren't able to get a hold of, or say they couldn't get a hold of um, that type of you know organic grain. So there are rules. It's just best to you know to break them all. It's best to go to a farmers market, <laughs> it's, it's really. Best, it's best. Yeah, that's what farmers I've heard. Farmers market. Like, I mean, you know where the like the people have usually family chickens. I mean, I grew up with family chickens, and you know the chickens ate what we gave them. We know wanna, what went in them. And I want to start a greenhouse. Yeah. We should. We just start. We need to start a spiritual community. We really do. Yeah. And we're gonna need yep. all of y'all to like move over here. Yep. Or we need to find out where we're going. Be like a gypsy caravan. But that's Seriously, like, I'm totally ready to like put a whole yeah. group of us together. Like I'm ready to expand this even more and us like go as a community to different places and help people who are less fortunate and educate them and oh, and to go around the entire yeah. country and just be like no and like just showing up at places that like, no, y'all don't need to be doing this. Like, you need to be trying to help each other, not trying to make each other sick. Yeah. It's busy. Because this, this life is not a competition. This life is, we're supposed to help each other. That's yeah. what we're supposed to be doing. It's not a competition like, like the media tries to instill in us that if you got to have something bigger and better than the next guy, no, I'm, you know? I'm cool. I'm yeah. cool with what I've got. I just, yeah. um, I'm ready to get my God-given birthright, which is my health and my yeah. wealth, and I deserve it, and so yeah. does everyone else. Yes. So give me the fruits and the vegetables that I need for the highest vibration so I can heal yeah. from the inside out. And you know, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, also, he said that the first wealth is health. So that's a nice little saying of his. Yes, and yeah. what was his name? Hippocrates? <laughs> How do you say that? Hippocrates? <laughs> Hippocrates. Yes, what did he say, girl? <laughs> oh, he said, let medicine be thy food. Yes. <laughs> and, the, and food thy medicine. Yes. Amen to Nature that. itself is the best physician. And that's true. It's crazy because my doctor put that my religious beliefs are holding me back because I'm over here trying to go alkaline. And I'm like, first of all, I'm not religious. And second, this fruit and vegetables is more powerful than this pill. And yes. I know that for a fact. So yeah. it's crazy. Um, other stuff that I've been doing to raise my vibration and heal from the inside out is I do lemon water um, at room temperature or you can do sliced lemons and boil them in water mm -hmm. and then just drink that. It alkalizes your body first thing in the morning. I'm learning to rise with the sun and you know at least bask in the sun for 10 minutes before I go to work and talk to God and do all my gratitude, my prayers and set my intentions for the day. Um, I sing a lot and I listen to uh, vibrational music so it's not only just healing with food but vibrations of 432 and you know uh, 396 and 718 and stuff. I listen to all these self-help uh, vibrational music and frequencies on my days off, on my way to work, when I'm in the car, when I'm at lunch, whenever I can get a chance because I always know that mm -hmm. some vibration is always trying to either attach to me or something yeah. or someone especially with like the career that I'm in and stuff and people are always complaining their stuff then you know yeah. I've got to be able to keep my vibration high at all times. Absolutely. And if anybody, whenever we, people see me around, uh, I always have a thing of water with me. Yes. And the water is, I usually have spring water um, just because well, it's from a spring. It's natural. Right. People always say <laughs> me carrying around a gallon from. water of, um, what do, I don't know what the name of the brand is, but I'm always carrying a gallon water of water yeah. with me and it's not store bought or anything, or it is a store one, but it's, it's a... So for me, it was really important to not have fluoride in my water. But if you look in here, there's a fruit infuser um, that is built into this pitcher, which you can get the pitcher on Amazon. Um, and what I put in here is rose quartz, amethyst, and clear quartz. If you're gonna put any crystals in your water, first of all, make sure that they're contained in something else besides just at the bottom of the jug, because, you know, 
if your little kid gets in there and gets some water, you don't want them to think it's a piece of candy at the bottom. True. And um, also, you want to make sure that the, they're cleaned. Um, it's best if they are put in the sun to uh, charge. For and it just energizes them. 30 minutes is what I've read. Yeah, yeah. Usually I put mine in for a, a couple of hours because I usually forget them outside. I right. put them in a baking tray, all my rocks, and like the ones that can go in the sun because like amethyst will... Fade. It'll fade in the sun. So if the color is important to you, don't put it in the sun. Don't let it, a window hit it <laughs> and, right. and get it in the sun during the day because it will fade your, your amethyst. So um, most quartz can go in water. And so anyway, what this is, is it just energizes your water. And you can also put your hands on it and energize it like that. I normally have just a cup with a fruit infuser that's built into the cup. And I just keep my crystals in there. And it happened one day when I was feeling sick and I was having a bad day. And my oldest daughter is my crystal daughter. She, crystal queen, honey. Yes, yes. She brought me this prescription of different quartz to put in the water. So... Um, I did that and I've been doing it ever since and I mean it makes me feel great to not have fluoride in my water I know I'm doing something good for myself and also that it's energized by the crystals and it has healing frequencies too because uh, I'll go ahead and reference this woman her name is Judy Hall she has a book called the crystal Bible and if you go in there and you research like I'm I have my um, garnet which has to do with blood purification like of course i'm working against disease that i've somehow manifested into my body in the last 35 years so i understand that i can put a certain crystal inside of a water program and let it sit let it raise and then drink it and also receive that vibration yes thank the water and everything and purify my body from inside out and my body thanks me back for it yeah. so people are like just... are those rocks in your class I'm like sure you know, yeah, but you just have to always double check what stones you're putting in because yeah. some of them aren't safe. Like uh, one thing, is really pretty, if you happen to have a stone that can be put in the water, but you see that it's not 100% clear quartz or whatever, you might want to know what is in there because sometimes there could be iron. You don't need to drink any heavy metals right. that get mixed in with your water. So definitely right. know. I remember stone. the first time I did my water uh, healing, I didn't research it and I literally had already went and bought all these crystals. And then did a nice little wine glass of water and set it outside for like an hour and then drank it. And then after I had drank it, was researching the benefits. And then I saw hazards. I'm like, hazards? What do you, yes, there what are do you mean? Some... I just drank all this. And yeah. I didn't even realize that I had to put crystals that I shouldn't have put in the water. And I had yeah. already drank it. So I was like, friend, if I die, you better be prepared to call 911. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then some stones will melt in, you know, in water. And like selenite is one of them. Right. Um, but yeah, there's some that are softer stones that will melt and of course you don't want to have any heavy metals in there or, and things like that right. that can't go so what water. we're going to do now is we're going to yes. use our nicely high vibrating crystal infused water and we're also going to use our alkaline now detox metal detox pesticide yes. detox fruit and we're going to make ourselves high vibrational smoothies yes so we can raise our vibrations and have a fabulous rest of our night yes right exactly you, there's this. a cup over there for you if you want to Grab that. Oh, yes. We each have our own cup, which will. Boop, boop. Yeah. So Should we get we a spoon or not a spoon? Ah, oh, we can use our hands. We washed our hands. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. I'm doing uh, broccoli. It's one of the highest vibrational. Doing banana because I like banana. I'm doing mango because I like potassium. I'll say it's for potassium, but I know that it's like <laughs> it's like God's candy to me. <laughs> and another thing, as I, as I use my knife, did you know that a banana you're supposed to open it like yeah this. like uh, I found you that pinch out it. yeah you pinch it and you actually I've always like had to take a if it doesn't go and I would cut it and oh, that just reminded so me that yeah if you pinch it what kind of cucumbers were these those were Persian cucumbers they smell amazing smell that oh that smells oh that smells very good that? I'm gonna put the whole cucumber in mine yeah Boop. you want to do some banana Banana. Are we sharing some. a banana since this is yeah, so we'll much Yeah, we'll share fruit? a banana. Okay. Keep your fingers away from the knife. Well, I'm oh, done. And look at, the, look at the knife when you're cutting, too. Don't do like I do. You just stole a banana. <laughs> 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 Sharing's caring, friend. What have, we, what have you learned on this, process, on this journey? What yours is mine and what is mine is yours. And that goes for everyone. Like, that goes for... That's just how I look at the, the government and everything now. I'm like, I ain't going to sit here and pay for something that... Yeah, just thousands of dollars when it's free and it comes from a tree like are you serious exactly like i ain't got time for that anymore like i'm trying to heal from the inside out oh i gotta show you all this dragon fruit it's the shit 
Oh, it is very sweet. I love it. Super. It's it tastes really just good. like kiwi. It has, uh, and a lot of this also has antimicrobial, antibacterial, and anti. Parasite, uh, parasitical, how would you say that? Parasitical, yeah. Parasitical uh, properties. So it helps cleans, cleanse out your toxins from your body, but also any parasites or anything that's clogged up in your um, intestinal tract. And it helps you do that. It helps you lose weight. It helps you stay fit. You stay energetic. You're good to go. I just love it. Grab me another paper towel. Okay. All right. Because I'm, I'm making a mess. We're both making messes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, Fran. I got green fingers. Okay. Right. So, um, and then we have mangoes here. Yes. Um, she didn't know what mangoes were today. I, this is my, <laughs> my mango for my house. <laughs> and she didn't even know, know what it was. was. She did not know what a mango. I was like, she's like, I, I tasted it. And I had mango. I had it actually uh, in Jamaica, like fresh uh, mangoes and pineapples. Oh. Goodness, she said, so she said, I have this fruit in my fridge. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> and it was a mango. Yeah, yeah. Mango. I'm going to drain some of this because I just think we should drain. Yes. So we can get to around it better. <laughs> For real. I'm so excited to eat this though, or to drink it, especially the cucumber. You got to oh, get yeah. your cucumber. Yes. Did you put a whole cu cucumber in there? I did my whole cucumber. Yeah, I sliced it. I up. like cucumber. It tastes like spring or summer to me. And I've also learned that all your, like the stuff that you need is in the stems mm -hmm. of the stuff. So not always the leafy part. It's always mainly in the stem is where it holds all the nutrients and antioxidants and anti everything and anti this and anti that. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm cutting it to make more fruit fit in it. I'm being a fruit pig. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do two smoothies back to back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. are. <laughs> we'll come back with that one in a minute. Yes, we will. Oh, yes, we will. Okay. Oh, that's gotta go in there. Yeah, you gotta get your dragon fruit. Oh yeah, and blueberries. Mine's cute. So I good. love it. I'm so that's excited so... to drink it. Oh, I'm gonna put some. How much water do we put in? How do you get water in this and there? Um, it says it has a max fill line right there, and that way you can know how much. And then this goes on. This has a blade oh i was so, so confused for a second girl i was like am i gonna just pour it out all over the sink because we have to be able to fit that in there with the i'm sink. gonna shove it i'm gonna shove it in there. okay i'm good at shoving it in <laughs> <laughs> you have to fill it with water and then there you go okay <laughs> we're learning as we go we are i mean i love it Blueberries, oh, so good for you. Guys, if y'all know anything, because um, especially with like alkaline eating and smoothies, uh, if y'all would just comment in the comment section below and let us know what you do to raise your vibration. Because, um, you know, we're a family and we are all trying to progress and ascend together. And so I would love to know what y'all do to raise your vibrations. And if you do eat meat, what meat you do eat and how you also cope with eating meat afterwards and and does that even affect you yeah. some people just it does not affect for me i noticed it was a you know my body was having bad reactions to it so do you want to fill this up with water and i'll yeah. i'll blend this it's going to be noisy here for a second yes but, um yay let's go here we go I'm excited. <laughs> 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 that was interesting. Well, at least I got it. Yeah. So there's a lid right there. I don't know if you want to put that lid on there, but um, you have my lid here, and I have my lid there. Okay. Super excited. It's Not yours. Confused. Sure. <laughs> it screws on. Oh, it does. Okay. It screws on. Yeah. It screws on on the inside. Just wipe a it. little different. Smells amazing. Oh. It does. Oh, it does look darker. Yeah. Not what I taste it yet. I'm going to wait for you. All right. I put a lot more uh, strawberry, raspberry. Yes. I did a lot more. <laughs> I need a man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good luck. <laughs> She got hers on tight. <laughs> Carol! <laughs> Carol! Carol! 
can only end. Yeah, no. Oh my god, girl, what did you do? Okay, I got it. Oh, I got it. It's all that. It's all that muscle. Wow. I've been doing all that workout. Girl, that one got it. That one got you good. That one got me good. Okay. She would ask for a man. I had to turn into a man for like thirty seconds. I'm totally over it. I'm gonna go back to being a woman. Hi. Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Oh my. Oh, this looks delicious. Yes. It's Cheers, friend. Cheers. To healthy vibrations. Yes. To high vibrations. Yeah. Healthy eating. Thank you. Thank you, universe. And thank you. Thank you, mm. fruit. And bless you. In the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I would like if, like if you can, freeze your fruit first. Mm -hmm. Make it way better. Because this is just refrigerated coldness on here. I but, mean, it's yeah, so good. It's very sweet. You might want to have just a little bit of ice. Yeah, yeah. No. But it's so good. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that is that mm. yeah, for this one. Yeah, yeah. Guys, let us know what y'all think. Let us know what you eat. And if y'all want to get on a diet plan with me, I think that would be great for all of us to start holding each other accountable. Oh, yeah, And we should, absolutely. we should really be like, this yeah. is what I had for breakfast, you know, because it'll just motivate other people yeah. and us in the group to try to stick to that because I know I don't have a personal support system with people who are trying to yeah. Go vegan or whatever, so I think I'm gonna. You know, to stuff. anytime like, you say you've just had potatoes, I'm gonna have to ask you: Was it vodka or was what kind of potatoes? Was they it were fermented? Do you know that me and my roommate have seriously talked about creating a potato farm just for the intention of creating a spiritually based vodka? Oh, you mean spirits? Yes, spirits. A spiritually spirited <laughs> vodka. Like. This is a spiritually based vodka. You're only allowed to have like there's that thing that you're only allowed to have one drink and they cut you off, but it makes you call. Um, it's a green, it's a green. I don't know. It's overseas. It's a green drink. The, it's like labyrinth or something. I don't know. But you drink like one or two and you're done and you see visions and you're able to talk to spirit. Wow. I might. So. I would love it. I talk to spirit anyway. So like, I wonder what that would do for me. That that's. I think we need a road trip. Where's this in Europe? Because we need to go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, next road trip is Sedona. Oh, Sedona. Yeah. 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 We want to go to Sedona. Mm -hmm. If any of you live in Sedona, we're going to need to stay at your house. Yeah. Do you have a couch? <laughs> floor? I'll, I'll take the floor. Air mattress. Yeah. 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 We're good. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think that we're good. We're going to, we're going to, this will end up being a two part thing because the first one is going to be about health. The second one is going to be about the things we found at this Super H Mart, which is a, uh, I don't know if it's exactly like only Korean, but I know that they have lots of different worldwide foods there. They do have a lot of Korean stuff there, though. And uh, it's well, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, we have lots of food that we can try on the next video. So keep, stay tuned for the next video. Guys, anyways, we want to see what you're eating and what you're drinking and what you're doing that's alkaline. And I definitely want to know what you're putting in your body. So um, definitely post videos, post pictures, let us know who you are, and we will talk to you on the next uh, podcast. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. For all the people who judge without knowing just Throw the peace, I tell them good vibes only, yeah They were hating, but we didn't even notice Cause we're on them good vibes only, yeah The shit is wavy, like we're in the ocean Cause we're on them good vibes only, yeah For all the people who judge but don't know me I just throw the peace, I tell them good vibes only